Hello everyone, today we will see how to install NanoCAD 21 on Windows 10. So I have Windows 10 system. I'll click on my computer and uh, we'll see. So this is uh, Windows 10 Pro installed on my system. So on this system, we will is install NanoCAD 21. So let's get started. So now, as you can see, I already have downloaded NanoCAD 21 installer on my system. So I will start installing using this installer. You can see the build number, right? So now I will uh, double click on the installer and the installer will start the installation process. So wait for a few seconds now. Okay, so now I have uh, the security alert here. I'll click on yes. I'll proceed. And now the self extracting zip will extract uh, things and it will make things ready for the installation. So it will take another few seconds. Okay, so now it is ready. I should follow the screen instruction, right? So before I install uh, the NanoCAD platform, uh, the latest latest NanoCAD 21, uh, you know, has all the vertical products inside uh, this one build. So once you start installing of NanoCAD uh, 21 platform, by default you will have options to install NanoCAD construction and Mechanica. So you will get options to exclude those uh, vertical products installations or you can uh, install these three different platform constructions and uh, mechanical uh, together from one installer, right? So we will see. So now I will proceed next and uh, you can read the license agreement here and then you can accept the terms in the license agreement right so i will accept and now i'll click on next now uh, this is my name so i'm okay with that and then i will write my company name here right and then so i have serial number so I will turn this option on and I'll paste the serial number on your case You should get the serial number Even if you are using uh, trial versions, you will get the serial number and um, If you don't have serial number, then you can turn this option off and you can proceed Installations will be done, but on this case. I have serial number. So I will turn this option on and I will uh, paste the serial number here. So if you turn off, you will have to provide the serial number at the end of the installations to get the registration, right? But for uh, for me, I have serial number, so I will provide the serial number first here, and then I'll click next. And now it says that the program will install on uh, my C drive program files. So if I want, I can change the uh, you know directory from here So I am okay now with this uh, Directory so I'll uh, click on next and now you can see it says that uh, multi-purpose cat for Professional design and drafting which is NanoCAD platform, but along with NanoCAD platform you have options to install construction and Mechanica right so on my case i will install all three of these applications now but if you want that maybe if you don't want to install uh, uh, this construction right so you can 
cross this uh, construction so you can cross this so the construction will not install only mechanica will install you can also if you don't want to install mechanica as well you can cross it but on this case i will uh, install the entire features installations on local drive or maybe i will install so will be installed on local hard disk so i will install like this so now uh, it means that I will install the platform, constructions, and Mechanica. So you have some options here. You can exclude these uh, plugins to be installed while you are installing NanoCAD platform, right? So I'm okay. Now I will be installing platform, constructions, and Mechanica, right? So click Next. And now it says that um, on your system, if you have DWG or DWT, DXF or DWS, these files will be associated with NanoCAD. So yes, absolutely. I want this um, file should be associated with uh, NanoCAD. So I will say yes and I'll press next. And now my initial settings are okay. And I can start the installation now. So I'll click on installed. So now the installation process will start here and it will take some time. Initially, the NanoCAD platform will install and uh, then the construction and then Mechanica. So once after another, I mean, after installing the NanoCAD, uh, the constructions will be installed automatically the installations will start and also uh, the nanocad mechanica installation will installations will start thereafter so let's see uh, how it works so now you can see uh, nanocad 21 um, is ready here you can see the icon Okay, now you can see uh, the construction uh, uh, installations will start, as I said. So now NanoCAD construction is getting installed. So you can see uh, the construction icon now on uh, on my desktop here. Now you can see the Mechanica uh, installation started. Here you can find Mechanica. So again, you can see the icon. So I have platform. This is. Uh, the NanoCAD platform and then we have construction and then we have Mechanica here. So from one installer we can install three different applications. Um, not different because this these are the plugins of NanoCAD so probably you can say uh, the plugins of uh, NanoCAD platform from single installer. Let's wait for a few seconds. The installer will complete the whole installation process here. And it will take us to the registration page. So we will see what to do on registration page.
Okay, so now we can see the registration page here. It says that launch registration wizard. Yes, we want to launch the registration uh, wizard. Now, this is the registration wizard. First of all, uh, I have options to register and activate license and then I can manually activate the license file and I can connect to the license server. So I'm not creating the license server here. I'm just uh, doing the standalone installations. This is not network installations. So these options will not work for me. And then the manual uh, activate license file. This is for uh, the users who, who has already received uh, the license from uh, NanoCAD. So in my case, I have only serial number. So this is this option is also not for me. So I should register and activate license file. I should use this option. So uh, keeping the selection in these options, I will press next. And uh, this is the serial number I had used at the beginning of the installation. So this is okay. Automatically, it it will fetch the serial number and I'll click next. And now it says that um, this is my name and this is the company name. And I want to choose my country name. So this is my country and the login. This is important. I should use uh, the exact same uh, serial number I provided to NanoCAD to get the serial number. So this is important. The login is the email ID. So in my case, I had provided uh, my Gmail. So let me check. Gmail.com. Yes, I'm okay. So I should use the same mail ID. This is very important. Otherwise, it, it will not uh, fetch the license file from the server. So you should be aware of this uh, login. So this is the right email address I had used to generate the serial number. So I'm okay now with all of this information. So I'll click next and now the second chance of seeing the informations of my system. So this is the informations and I'll and now I have some uh, warning. It says that I will only be use the license on this system. If I move the license to other system, it will not work. So yes, yes, this is uh, absolutely uh, what I want. And I will say yes, I agree to that terms and conditions. And now you have different options. You can uh, get the license online. You can request license by uh, email. You can uh, log in to the personal account on the websites and you can find the license over there. And you can save the license request to a file and send to NanoCAD. But for me, my system is connected to internet. So... Um, I will use the fastest uh, method of getting license from the servers. That means I'll I'll just use the request license file online. So and I need to be connected with the internet. So I'll press next and it will initialize. And now you can see, congratulations. So one license files were deposited to this path, and it says that I am, uh, you know. I already had uh, received the license and it is deposited on this path now. So this is cool. So I'll press next and thank you. Yes. And I'll say finish. I'll refresh my system and I'll try to open NanoCAD 21 now. So uh, at the beginning, NanoCAD will take some time to, ins I mean, to open up. So just close. This is the opening screen of NanoCAD 21. I'll close it. And uh, in future, it will close automatically. So auto close option is turned on. You can turn off if you don't want to set that way because you will get a lot of information from this uh, splash screen as well. Yeah, what's new and files and whatnot. I'll, I'll uh, turn this option off for me. You have different uh, options here as well. You can go to support, forum, developers club, contact us and uh, many other things. So I'll close it for now.
and now NanoCat 21 will be ready for use. Okay, so this is video sub system performance check. This is very important. This will check my whole system and uh, based on my system configurations, it will provide me some suggestions. So we can set up things. Uh, based on the suggestions uh, of of uh, this uh, video sub system performance check and then i will uh, apply these settings to run nanocat smoothly on my system so it will take few seconds let's wait for that and uh, we will conclude uh, the installation and checking and uh, we will use nanocat then so here I am now ready with uh, NanoCAD. So now I can uh, use NanoCAD. I can use these functions here, right? So now I'm ready with uh, the NanoCAD platform. Same way, we will also be ready with uh, constructions and mechanical, right? So that's all. How do we install NanoCAD, the latest NanoCAD 21 on uh, Windows 10 system? Uh, so as uh, constructions and uh, mechanica. That's all in this video. See you next time.